It's a really great time for spirits. I would say if I had to highlight five that are really kind of the hot ones right now, it would be absinthe, tequila, small batch whiskey, gin, and rum. Um, from the standpoint of all of those spirits, absinthe is probably the one that's had the most excitement around it this year, and that's largely because it became legal to actually import it into the U.S. for the first time in 95 years. It's an herb-infused spirit. It is classically enjoyed, dripped over a cube of sugar, served with water, and it slowly becomes this cloudy mixture, and it's got a lot of lore and history behind it. And uh, rightly so, it was illegal when it was wrongly made by certain producers, but a lot of producers are making it right in the classic way, so it's really exciting to see it come back, and the mixologists are all behind that. It's tequila, which is a per uh, fa favorite of mine, it's just one of the most exciting beverages out there, and it's one that's been maligned, unfortunately, because the ones that aren't 100% blue agave tequilas, generally speaking, will not make you feel that great the next day, and all of us have our tequila stories. But the ones that are made really properly from agave uh, are just absolutely delicious. And people are learning more about the different styles, whether it's Blanco, Reposado, or Añejo. And they're keeping several brands at home to taste and try with their friends. So that's pretty exciting. You don't really do that with a gin or a vodka at home. You have your choice. So that's pretty cool. Another one would be uh, rum. And rum, uh, particularly artisanal rum, from um, a category called Mary Agricole from the Caribbean. Those are coming into vogue, and people are discovering them from small plantations, and they're actually really, really tasty, and they make delicious drinks. Uh, the small batch whiskeys are ones that are being produced in the U.S. from barley, much like they are in Scotland. But people are really interested in trying to make those whiskeys in this country as opposed to other places. So we're seeing a renaissance in that as well. 